Hey, what's going on guys? Heads here from Infinity Loops and welcome back. Today we are taking a look at the Odonata, or o Odonata, which stems from the Greek word Odonto, which means tooth. I think in this case they, it means dragonfly, though, the full word, or something like a dragonfly. This frame was sent to me by a viewer. Let me go ahead and dox his full government name is Ed and his address, if you were curious, is uh, 9th Street. Uh, and that's going to be 9... So just in case uh, you were curious, that's who that came from. So thank you so much for sending this over so I could check it out. I do appreciate that. And uh, without further ado, let's jump into it. But I'm a little stronger now. You catch me on my promises. You know I'm too generous. Now I've learned to First off, I'll run you over just the build that I'm using because this is not the bind and fly, I just got the frame. I'm using my trusty diamond ELRS board with a BT 2.0 plug soldered on. I'm running the Pico Razor, which I do believe the bind and fly comes with. And for motors, originally I was using the Newbie Drone plaids, which I believe are 20,000 kV, but I could not get this wobble out of them no matter where I went with the tune. So uh, I switched over to some 1002s and those seem to be working great. I got that tuned out well and now it's flying smooth and it's a lot of fun on these Gemfan 40mm biblades. Using those components you can expect your build to come out around 27.5 to 28 grams. I ran mine on a 450 milliamp 1S Dogcom, uh, the BT 2.0 batteries I've been running lately. Outside flying with that battery has brought me three to three and a half minute long flights thereabouts. And that is not putzing around. The stock camera mount that it comes with is pretty steep. I believe the creator of this frame told me that it was 30 degrees. So that would be double what I'm used to myself at 15. So I uh, was a little quicker around the yard than I normally would be. I took this build out for five days worth of flying just repeatedly. Every day I ran anywhere from 10 to 15 packs through it. Over those five days of flights, I did have quite a few crashes. A lot of them were out front on the pavement, just into the street out front. So 1.5 millimeter carbon seems to be holding up well. I didn't purposely tank it into anything that hard. I did hit the tree out front a few times just to see if I could get anything up front to break loose or crack or anything and uh, so far it's it's holding up pretty strong. The frame went together very easily. It's just those three bolts on the bottom for your standoffs and then the three on the top for the top plate. It is nice. I did notice that on the bottom there are holes cut so if you do have flight controller 
that has a USB port that comes out of the bottom, there is access for it on the bottom, which is something we usually don't see on these kind of builds is if you have the flight controller flipped upside down or if you have it right side up, uh, you just can't get access to the USB port without taking it out of the frame or taking the top plate off of the frame. I think if you're ever looking to do one of these micro open prop builds, you want to be looking at starting around a 40 millimeter prop size. Not that it's not doable with a smaller prop size than 40 millimeters, it's just not doable well, in my opinion. So I, I think 40 millimeters was a great spot to start as far as for this frame size. If you're looking for something like this, a little front yard ripper, you can just shred around the, the park or whatever and not bother anybody. The Odonata is a fun little frame and so far uh, for its size, it is very durable. So that will do it for us here today. Thank you again so much to Ed whose social security number, just in case you need it, uh, just jot it down. It's uh, 21 uh, two Thank you again. We do appreciate it. And if you would like to get yourself one of these frames, check in the description down below and I will leave a link where you can find one. Hopefully they're still in stock. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, take care of yourself and we will see you in the next one.